Well, this morning we are 50 days away from the Kentucky Derby, and that means, Carrie, 50 days less really to figure out what you're going to wear. <laughs> and that is a big deal we all know, right? Next Sunday, the Kentucky Derby Museum can help us out yeah. with its annual hat show. And our Sam Carter has been showing off some of those wonderful hat makers and milliners this morning. Who you got, Sam? I got Mary Julia here on my right hand side. Carrie, she is the proud owner of Derbyology, just celebrated seven years in business. Congratulations Great. on that, first and foremost. Um, you make fascinators. You do not make hats. You just make fascinators. Why do you make fascinators? And they're such cool statement pieces. Is that kind of the whole idea of it? That is. I love the showstopper kind of mentality of, you know, going big or going home. And uh, I think the trend was really on the uptick when I started in and just sure. kind of ran with it and um, had so much fun, such great feedback. And, and they're a little bit friendlier on like the hairstyle that you're going with on race day. Don't have as much of like the hat head tendency. Um, and they're real like more comfortable than people would estimate so that's really cool i want to turn it over to kaylin and and terry now uh let's start with kaylin she's wearing a really cool when i think of it, i don't think of bows and things but this is such a cool piece talk to me about that thanks yeah so i love the illusion of adding some pieces that are uh maybe a little bit unexpected the sure. way that it gives kind of that floating effect so um, oversized bows are big right now in the fashion world, and so I thought, how fun would that be to kind of incorporate on a headpiece? Um, so a lot of a lot of generous feathery is kind of my style, as well as uh, royal inspiration with um, some of the traditional pieces that kind of give like the, the the elegant, the sleek, and the simple kind of some Kate Middleton vibes going on. So. Um, yeah, love it. But the showstopper statement is really is uh, really your yeah, yeah, it's it's your style. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention the lovely Terry here. This is a very kind of Kate Middleton, yes. very English inspired. If you go to an English yes. wedding, as I've been to many, you will definitely see something that like that, right? Yes, totally. With that cinema, that little button base that gives Ooh, kind of words. that mini cap there. Um, it's so much fun. And in the creation of some of these pieces, um, I tell myself this anyway that it kind of allows me to be sort of a, a sculptor with the cinema actually will form to uh, the way it's manipulated so I can kind of create different shapes with it and um, also adding in like the seamstress piece and the architecture and the artistry so there's, it is a fun combo there's so much that goes into it and you are accepting a very limited number of bookings right now people don't have a lot of time to book you though only till the end of the month that's right so taking a limited uh, number of, of customs this year for Derby 150 just expecting a, a, a tidal wave as I've already seen um, so yeah Earlier the better. Yeah, the tidal wave starts after Easter, folks, and Easter is early this year. Derbyology will be, and Mary Julia, who owns Derbyology, she will be one of the five milliners on hand for the Kentucky Derby Museum hat show. It's going to be a really, really cool event. You'll find links to tickets on that on our website later today, WLKY.com. Can't wait for the 9 o'clock hour. A ton going on. These are neat. You're neat. They're neat. You guys at home are neat, too. I cannot wait to show you what we got after CBS this morning. It's so fun to see mm -hmm. what the new trends and styles are for Derby yeah. every year. This is a fun event, and Carrie, something also mm -hmm. that we haven't highlighted really this morning yet is these these hat makers have to also work on how they're going to stay on the head and be comfortable for a yeah. long time, and they they succeed because we have to wear them as well. Yeah. Um, you know, horse racing. That's a fun part of it, Matt. But you know what? The best part for us yeah. is picking out those outfits. We love that. That's fun. I mean, y'all haven't talked about that at all.